right, so I didn't do a really good job of filming this when I was there. I was too excited when I was at the Sonic facility. But what you're about to see is a tour uh, and a, a little bit deeper dive into specifically the toolboxes. I talk a little bit about uh, the uh, some of the other things I'm thinking about doing, like portable toolkits, maybe a, a backpack that you guys could use to go to the track. Obviously, I wouldn't need that, but some of you might. Uh, and coming up with some newer, um, uh, newer things that are obsessed garage specific uh, that uh, I know that I would want, and then you know by proxy some of you might want. So we're gonna. Um, I was in Alabama, which is uh, which is where it's in Auburn is where, where their headquarters is. Uh, I was also able to the next day was able to go tour the Dine and APR facility. Uh, but you're gonna see a little bit deeper dive into the MSS Plus line. Uh, what I'm sitting on here now, this is MSS, uh, and then MSS Plus would be their, their, their top tier line of cabinets, so showing you what that looks like, what the various options are. Uh, and, uh, and so, I, I, again, I messed up the audio and things, so just bear with me. I think it's useful information that I, I think any of you who are interested in the Sonic stuff will want to see, uh, but uh, I'll be sure to, be, to get more footage and more detail on some of this amazing stuff, some amazing tools and cabinets and uh, the various options I'm going to be uh, de co-developing with them in the future uh, and so this is a, a little glimpse into that the start of that so anyway thanks for watching this but uh, again bear with the uh, bear with the audio as I, I forgot to turn the mic on oh yeah drawer insert oh, yeah oh. you, you get me all excited <laughs> so here this is where it's at I could sit here and look at this stuff all day. This is our packing station over there. Um, every package leaves through that door. Mm -hmm. um, in this warehouse is where we case all of our foams, small, medium, large XDs um, on all the shelves. So they grab the toolbox from a couple warehouses down, bring mm -hmm. it over, stack it with the tools requested, ships out that door. So the, the cabinets and stuff are at a, in a different warehouse? They are, yeah. We have uh, seven warehouses stacked up in one building. Um, so we store them all, all together and, and pull out of here. And so this is all the foam stuff. So here's MSS Plus. Yeah, pretty sick. Yeah, so on all the, all the MSS Plus components here, so basically We've got, um, it's all Lehman, uh, German locks. And, uh, all the slides themselves are actually Dutch uh, slide manufacturer. So it's actually, I don't remember exactly how long they've been in business, but it's it's something like 160 years. Mm -hmm. And like literally been in business for you know, at half, the, half the time the country yeah. in the U.S. has been around. Um, powder coating is Aska Nobel. Uh, which is also a Dutch company. Mm -hmm. They've been around like 270 years uh, doing paints and chemicals. Uh, so it's all those things and you get into certain components about the hinges inside of everything is all balloon. They're, they come from Austria. Mm -hmm. so it's all balloon hinges. Uh, in, in Europe, if you ever talk to anyone about cabinet manufacturing, you mentioned balloon. It's, it's ooh, uh, balloon is standard high end. Uh, standard high end. Uh, who and what it is, uh, mm -hmm. like, the, like the Lehman Lock system as well. So the Lehman Lock is not only just the lock here, but it's a keypad and it's a master key. So each cabinet could have its own key code. So it's a turn, and then you have one master key. Yeah, it's a turn dial. So you got locked, unlocked. So now it's locked mm -hmm. and unlocked. So and then you set your code however you would like to have the code set. So mm -hmm. each box can be its own combination, and then one master key if you required or wanted one. So what's this all about? Just vent ventilation. So if you open the bottom drawer, uh, I don't know if it's going to be in this specific one, but if you open the bottom drawer, yep, power bar. Ventilation for electric. Oh. So you can plug up all your stuff down there and you have no problem. No problem with heat uh, and or anything. What are these drawer capacities? So the uh, the shallow drawers mm -hmm. uh, are going to be up to 270 pounds. And the deep drawers are 530 pounds. So literally, hold my hand just for balance. <coughs> so it's not going anywhere. Hmm. 
and I can stand at the bottom drawer and there would be no issue with that whatsoever either. I like Obviously, how the, take. notice how I was gently closing, and I like that kind of a little you know. catch at the end. Yeah. It just feels solid. There's no, there's no play. And so when you get into design and actually the technology, so some people would ask um, actually on the specifics of you know the structural componentry of this, why and how is this actually made. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the box itself, and obviously you can't see it because it's all put together now, this is all formed out of one piece of steel. So mm -hmm. this entire thing is one piece of steel and it's all bent. Uh, using, you know, using obviously robotics uh, and laser welding, but from there it's all all bent one piece. The same thing with our drawers as well. All one piece of steel coming up to the lips here. So this is all just rolled and bent all up. And then when you get in here you can actually see how this all attaches. So this is one piece and it comes around and actually can pull the end cap out. Which these aren't so kind anymore. There it goes. You can see here it actually comes around. It's all one bend, one bend, one piece of steel. I mean, that's the big thing for me on like even the MSS line. The big finish. Yeah, let me see that camera for a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this here, just corners, like how fit and finish is just so much different than other cabinet arrays that I've messed with. And what that comes from is using all robotics. So our complete lineup of cabinets and toolboxes are actually um, bent, press, still, all of it on robotics. So literally, the only person that touches it is actually at the end. So it's in a, um, it's actually in a conveyor system. So it goes and grabs the correct piece of steel for which size it is, and then from there it takes it down the line to each individual section and unit. And we've got that in some of our videos actually as well. So we have the same 26 and a half, 34. No, so this is completely different, and this is all measured in metric. We have not done any conversion to U.S. on this one, so ever just because of the sizes are not exactly like 28.34 mm -hmm. inches or something like that. So the basic way that this comes is you've got seven nut. You still have the same thing, thinking 26 and 34 as in the drawer sizes themselves. Yeah. So the drawer liners, the foams that go in are still the same. Yeah. Okay. So same small, medium, large, and XD. Correct. XB. Yep. Except for the depth. Uh -huh. See the depth of this drawer, remember on MSS, it's mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. So you've got an even deeper drawer on all of these drawers. Okay. Um, so you've still got the you know, small and medium will fit in this one. Uh, and then we have spacers that go in here as well to take up the additional space. Or you can put more smalls uh, in this to fill up the rest of the space as well. Hmm. Uh, when you get into the uh, larger drawers here, uh, so you've got, we consider this a 720 series. So 720 millimeters, yep. mm -hmm. and then 890, uh, 890 millimeters. Actually, move these things out of the way here. So, like I said, there you've got the uh, XD drawer, which would fit in there. Okay, so XD would go to roughly here. Nope, XD would fill the entire thing. Oh, okay. Large would go to here. Okay. So you can fit an XD, you can fit a large, or you can fit nine smalls, or you can fit two medium side by side. which is the same drawer sizes that are currently existing on the S12 XD toolbox, mm -hmm. and the S14 toolbox, and the S15 toolbox. Here, sure. What's the methodology behind this? I'm sure there's some reasoning behind yep. the letter and number. So, here. inventory location. So, there's a, a large piece that's going to separate us from any of our professional um, part storage companies that we deal with, mm -hmm. uh, which they have these but they don't come already pre-numbered. Mm. So this is in this is in backwards. Uh, this would actually this would actually be back there and that should actually be up here and then the numbers would be correct. Uh, but you would have inventory location if you came down to this A1 and then you put in another spacer and you got A1, A2, A3 for each location. Mm. So and it's the same here. So you can number it however you want to number it. And then from there you've got, you know, C4 is this. D, you know, 16 is this one. Mm -hmm. And then you number the system however you like to number it on your own. I like that. I'll figure out something to put in there for the garage guys. So two standard widths. Two standard widths. Just yes. like MSS. Just like MSS, two yep. standard widths on the cabinets. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing with the lockers. 
Why yep. like a thirty? So we have a like, like the thirty six, like the twenty four. Yeah. This is a six fifty, and we have an I think it's eleven hundred. We have I think it's eleven hundred or eleven fifty um, for the double. Same. Um, yep. Same componentry. Just different, obviously different. Yep. So you actually have two shelves here for either uh, manuals, laptops, whatever you'd like to put inside of the um, shelving there. So trying to utilize more additional space. Yeah, I guess I do have a lock on, yeah, on my closets. And then all these, like this air, right? Yep. Air, hydraulic. Yep. So air, water, whatever hose reel you would like to put in, uh, power. Uh, two power outlets already equipped on it. And then that's the same over there as a, you know, it's a three reel, three reel cabinet. Yeah. Do you access it? Does this panel come off or do you access it from the rear? Everything from the rear is open. Got so the entire back side of that cabinet I see. is open and it's got a it's got a brace system across the back. Mm -hmm. So it's got like say it looks like our pegboard. It's got a hundred holes on it so you can mount them in whatever configuration. So I could put my cocktails reel in there or right. whatever. No. Yeah, and it goes down to this size. So we have a third size in this lineup which is a 360. That's so we have a third size which is a 360, which two of these make up a 720. So you can come down to a single door like that. You've got it with a two reel setup. Mm -hmm. We've got a single door right hand. Uh, we've got it with a lift control box in this setup as well. Uh, a couple of different sizes and uh, configurations. And then these are taller, aren't they? Uh, they are about two inches, no, an inch and a half taller than obviously based on adjustments, but an inch and a half taller on average. And then we have a new countertop design for this. Yep, well. so the countertops on these are only 20 millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. versus the others which are 40. Yep. You'll see here actually the, the wood is still a 40 millimeter mm -hmm. just because obviously you get down to 20 millimeters on that you're gonna structural integrity of the wood's gonna start giving. Mm -hmm. so, you know what we need? We need like a dark stained wood. Dark stain. So we like don't want this like is grandpa, dark, like like grandpa mode wood. here. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. You know, that, I've actually got, like, there was a cabinet maker yes. guy that reached out to me and I said, well what I need is I need this in like you know, think uh, modern, mm -hmm. either gray yeah. or a dark finish, mm -hmm. like a walnut dark finish. Yeah. This doesn't. This looks less grandpa because how dark these are. But if you put these on the MSS, it looks like a. Yep. You know, it's like a grandpa. Yeah, the dark or excuse me, the light gray with the wood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with that. <laughs> you could always just sand, sand it and stain it if you want to. Sand it and stain it. So uppers are different. Very different. Much larger. Yeah. Much like, more capacity. I like these way more. And also the option, when you go through these, the option for a power bar in any of them. So this one doesn't have a power bar in it. Yeah. So you can see you've got an out, or the power out to go to the back. Mm -hmm. Or you've got power to come in through here. So if you wanted to have something on the countertop plugged in, you can just run your cord down there. Right. Can we send my MSSs back and my days? That's the question. Sounds like you sounds like you got to find a customer that would want some MSS as well. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. <laughs> no. no. I just need another. I didn't build, build another garage so I can mm -hmm. have both. Yeah. Because I like both. Yep. I like this a little triangle thing that mounts and then this stays sturdy. So the mount behind it as well. So the mount itself is universal mm -hmm. to where you could actually mount that on this if you wanted. So you can put it where you can mount it here if you wanted. Mm -hmm. We already have on the lower back panels here pre drilled holes. And you can see you've got a mount right there. Oh, yeah. So if you only so, did a half wall setup. So I buy a cabinet. This is a separate piece. It's a separate piece. Separately. Correct. Depending on how I want to configure. Correct. So this is this is kind of like the what do they call the wire uh, wire pipe? Yep. So it's yep. just the wire pipe around mm -hmm. this plus. Yep. Wire pipe backing piece. Yep. So backing piece comes in three different sizes. You got the short one like this. Uh -huh. You got one about this tall, which goes with those. Uh -huh. And then you've got one that obviously comes all the way up, and you can see that. Well, we don't have it here currently, uh, but it would be sitting right there. Uh, here's a recycle. I love my recycling bin that I have mm -hmm. because of this. Yep. Mine has three. Yep. So I have trash, used pads, used towels. Oh, nice. Like microfiber. Yep, and yep. then I, then what I do is I just pop this out. I take it home. Yep. And I wash it and I bring it back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
the uppers actually work on the MSS worked out good because I've got like an inch to spare. So I won't yeah. pay on myself. So yeah. if you were 6'5", you'd be screwed. Here, 6'5", you'd be good to go. Yeah. Yeah, because you're, you're almost you're closer to 7 feet. Yeah. Um, lights that are under there as well uh, are part of the setup too. Easy plug in. Quick, easy install, magnetic. You can pull them down if you'd like. All, all accessorized out. Like you would you'd buy these. All these are all the car. Right? Correct. And then it's eighth inch connector or yeah. whatever the heck that is. Yeah. yeah. So you got another connector, and you can string four of those up off of one power supply. Mm -hmm. And then you would have to hop into another one after that. And then you have wire chase in between. Yep. So you don't have to drill holes. Optional sink. Correct. And then you would just have to have your plumber supply the rest of the gear for it. Got it. ready to drop out. Hmm. Uh, just come in and fit the you need. Mm -hmm. So you get the hole already out the back. Or yeah. punch holes in the bottom if you're going down to the going down to the ground to a drain. Mm, yeah. Doug's gonna see this video, we're gonna cancel MSS and get this. <laughs> Yeah. And you've got a couple other options out here. Yeah. So and there's the excuse the excuse the desk here. Yeah, that's the one that I was that I was telling you about. That is, uh, if you were to buy that individually, uh, in comparison to the toolbox, the S15, this one would actually be priced better than buying, than buying a S15 toolbox. toolbox yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, just based on the way that it, just based on the way the configurations work. And this is something that you can buy too. Yep. Yeah, you can open that up. Yeah, so it's a tambour door. There you go. You can put LED lighting in there if you want to do. Correct. LED, power in the bottom, and it's a pegboard. Lock all your stuff away if you've, you know, if you're OCD about your stuff hanging on your pegboard. Is this Which an option? I think you are. Yep, composite top is an option as well. So we we personally don't like it. Yeah. You can set, you can sense it more over here, just based on. It just it, Yeah, you lose some of the. Yeah. It just feels as if it gives. It's not. There is no integrity issue with this whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This is all common in Europe. Mm. They use composite Everybody tops on everything. So it's all composite like that because they're they, well, they're making the right. option of why would I buy stainless and have it scratch up a week after I, a week after I'm using it. This is scratch resistant uh, and it is obviously less much less expensive than what stainless or wood would be. Mm -hmm. So people could opt for this. Mm -hmm. and do they offer is there a, a glue solution that they offer? Yeah, three M tape, just the tin. Yeah. Then three M tape and just be done with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so typically what we do in a top box configuration like this, mm -hmm. we'll always send one of these with it to go on top of here. Just yeah. to finish it off, because you've still got the pre-drilled holes already uh, for connecting countertops. And so these are pre-designed. MSS doesn't have a top box option, right? It's not, it's not designed for that. Mm -hmm. And for this, it's, yeah. you can bolt it together. Yeah, so you can bolt it together, and we've got it in the 720 as well as the 890. Mm -hmm. So we have a wide one like this as well, which would sit on top too. Mm -hmm. so you have some some guys that would want to use this as your you know, this would be a complete part storage yeah. uh, area over here if you wanted to keep anything from brakes to clingers to this and whatever you're storing in there as far as clips mm -hmm. and you wanted one wall section full of it we've had people that have just boom 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 tops and bottoms uh, all four all the way across could you put two tops together could you do another top on top of this mm -hmm. yep Stack them in the ceiling. Yeah, so it's literally it's the same thing like this. Yeah, just bolts. On the bottom, just bolt together. You want to go to the ceiling, go to the ceiling. Yeah. If you wanted to put two of those on top of each other and nothing under it for some reason, right. you can do that as well. These little things are sick. I'm, I'm pumped about these. I want all these. I want these all on my shelf so when people come in, they can buy. Look how yep. sick that is. That's the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen. And that's legit. You put an obsessed garage logo right there on there. That's what I need to do. What is this? Uh, probably Crowfoot so. Yeah. I want all this. I want one of these too. Yeah, this is actually a uh, new product we're getting ready to introduce. It's an aviation set. So it's a basic, basic aviation set for any starting 
aviation guys. Mm -hmm. So some of it's this is prototype. So yeah. you're looking at first first article. Yeah. So any new student that would be going yeah. to aviation school, this would be this would be the box that has everything required for him to actually start uh, into into the field. Hmm. Something like this. Price? Uh, 750 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 2000 Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And still, it's all the, it's pricing all the tools. So, how does the upper, so, what does that look like? That goes down all the way to the bottom. So that's the, the back. This right here is like that tall. Okay. Yeah. I see. And then this is what allows us to receive this. Correct. And so then, that would be in so place this, of that. This would be like the pegboard on MSS. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is our wire pipe. Correct. So Still you, same, two different sizes. So you choose, so two different width sizes. So one for here, Yep. one for in, the, in between cabinets. Correct. But then what happens, there's a short one and a long one? A short one and a long one, then like, you'll, have a, you'll have a long pole. Okay. So it would so, be just like this end right here. Ah, okay. So that goes all the way to the full of yeah. Or yeah. close to the full. Correct. And that's how we solidify or, or mount the cabinets together. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. The bigger, if it was a 56, whatever that is, millimeters, but that, mm -hmm. that has a ability to mount in the middle of the cabinet. Yep. Yeah. I got a lot to learn. Shoot. <laughs> Roll away cabinet. Yep, so we have uh, that's a that's a 720 bridge mm -hmm. unit there. So we have a 720 bridge and an 890 bridge. Mm -hmm. We didn't so have we bridges any, either in MSS. We did not. Uh, so on this, you have the option for four different cart options uh, currently. So it would be a 720 cart that you're looking at there, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, going to be the same depth. You want to pull the drawer out. Um, same depth as a uh, MSS type, so that would yep. fit one medium. Mm -hmm. And then we have one in this version as an extra deep as well, so you can fit the, uh, so you can fit more into the drawer. So mm -hmm. just like the 720 cabinets here, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have an 890 that's a regular depth like that, and then an 890 with an extra depth uh, as well. An extra depth will still fit all the way back in there. Yep. And so with this one, if you if you were to get this, there's actually it might be in the box. Actually, no, there's actually a spacer which mounts onto the post on the rear mm -hmm. which takes up the difference of space so this is always flush so you can push it and push it all the way up against and it up against the back just it's a little genius. rubber little rubber bushing back there basically and we have enough clearance to not yep. bang it off the edge yeah, so the cart itself is 700 millimeters the space is 720 so 10 millimeters on each side mm -hmm. So this this is very similar. So you can see here we have wire, we have tracking all the way down to the back as well. Mm -hmm. If you needed to put wire, yeah. anything run from here, uh, and then you have it at uh, midpoint there as well. See the mm -hmm. other other grommet. And the one thing that you have to remember when you're doing this is take the grommet out. If when you put, put, yeah. you put the put the actual cabinet. Yep. Yeah. They have a, the construction. I mean, we have the same inserts. It's the same basic. Putting it together is going to take mm -hmm. this half an hour. An actually, hour. Yeah, yeah. And actually, this is a little easier than MSS because of the the way that this actually puts together. So, no on MSS, how you have to install from the back, mm -hmm. all the poles and nuts and everything from the back. Yeah. All of the hardware is inside. So, so, from, so I pull the drawer. I hold out. the pole right here. Yeah. Uh, or you can put the hardware on, like loosely. Mm. And then slide the pole into the hole and get it in, and then you tighten everything from the front. So uh, everything's tight. Well, I learned that lesson. I have a 27 foot array of cabinets, and I got to get it in the place. Yep. And uh, yeah, we uh, we had like eight guys or something like that. Yeah. So you can see here. There's your hardware right there. Oh yeah. Okay, that's smart. All easy access from the front. So there's the other one. Not as exciting for your headache when you're putting it together. But you have to put it together once. Yep. Correct. And then you got your other one down at the bottom. Yeah. Also, second thing, feet adjustments. Oh, yeah. Instead of me doing the... Uh-huh. Instead yeah. of a 14 millimeter wrench, having to figure it out from the bottom, oh, there's your adjustment right there. To level the heck Five out. millimeter hex. 
Some of mine are like not perfectly level because of uh, my fingers. I just so up. it's the same uh, front and rear. Mm -hmm. So after you get everything in place, you can level everything up after yeah. it's in place. And all of this stuff, there's no assembly. Nope. This comes together. Yeah. So this unit right here literally comes assembled as it is. Slide it up beside it, put the pole down, three attachment points, and you're done. It's there. What the heck is this? A little drain, a little catch drain. Yeah. So if you have, uh, if you had oil on here, it's so everything drips into the tray there. Hmm. And then literally this is just, just pops out. And pops out. Go just like that. And back clean it out. Yep. Sweet. So that's the thing is what we're talking about. Complicated, but it's so simple. You know, it's very to, simple. And it's take it's taking. Um, you know, as you talked about with uh, with other other cabinets you put together, is taking that and now making it simple. So, mm -hmm. outside of just the professional world, you can now have professional cabinets and yeah. you don't have the issue of trying to figure out how to put it together. Yeah, I think this is going to be too heavy to put on top of a plastic floor. I I tried it. I just put the MSS right on top of my plastic floor just to see. Oh, right. the. Uh, the Swiss tracks. Swiss tracks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and this this might sink. Yeah. This is uh. Well, I don't I don't know because the the feet on these are actually larger than the feet that are on MSS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The padding is the padding is actually larger. Hmm. But yes, this is definitely significantly heavier than what an MSS setup would be. Do they do any uh, dividers for the big drawers? It's the same divider. It just uh, oh for the height. No. Yeah. That's a, that's a uh, small uh, short curl yeah. option. Yeah. You know, one thing I haven't thought about though, and I'd like to measure and see if two of these would fit on top of each other. Uh, no, we don't have anything this deep enough. You couldn't mm -hmm. put two of those in, that would be a problem. Never mind. I'm sure some will try. Yeah, I like the uppers. Yeah. I like taller uppers better. Much more space in the upper cabinets there. And on these, of course, take it this not certain because they're deeper. So deeper for some garages is going to be not as good. For others, it's you know, so we have multiple options. This is not as far out of reach as I was thinking it was, though. Far out of reach, how? Price and I don't know. I just had a different. I just thought it was going to be more complicated. It's actually less complicated. It, it, it actually is. I don't know. I just I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. But the finish, the fit and finish, is where it's at. Just I'm telling you, like other cabinets, the corners, like this, it's just not the same. Nope. You know, and I suspect you you had the lowest paid dude in here probably put this together, and everything's flush mm -hmm. and simple. Yeah, I mean that. You know, other cat that you have to spend, you'd have to be like a darn carpenter to put them together. Nope. And then if they don't go together correct, they're not correct for the rest of their time. Yeah. Yeah, you have a nice, smooth, flat. Because no floor is ever flat. Yeah. Awesome. I like this sink. What's the MSS sink look like? Similar? Um, yeah, it's not as wide. It's on, it's, uh, it's on the 26 inch cabinet. Yeah, so, so it's, it's gonna not, be, so it's gonna literally be a little less than that one. Yeah, so this cabinet's basically like 28.3 or 4 inches wide, mm -hmm. whereas MSS is like right here. Two inches, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's all made up on the frame. But the frame of this is much more substantial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Actually, our newly launched, uh, just in the past couple of weeks, um, aviation set, uh, intermediate aviation set. So, like I showed you a minute ago, we've got the basic set mm -hmm. uh, for a starting technician. This is more of like the guy graduating and now going to go become a technician for the next five mm -hmm. to ten years. This would be a set that he would work out of. Are these um, prototype tools here? Is that yeah, why? Prototype, they're... correct. Yeah, something that we're not offering currently in the U.S. Yeah. 
I was like, I saw that. I'm like, I knew it. I wanted it for a reason because mm -hmm. no one can get it. Yep. Know, figures. Yep. The story of my life. That's correct. So this is an S9. So the so way this S9. So the way these work, we go S8, S9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Correct. Totally out, right. Yep. And so this would be, I think this would be the entry for what anyone I have would be looking for. You yep. usually skip over the S8. Correct. Right. This one has the bumpers on the side, has the stainless top. Yep. You know, the bevel stainless top so you can put stuff on mm -hmm. top of it. And then you have the option, we can buy it loaded or unloaded. Correct. Buy it loaded, unloaded, you can build it as you go, however you'd like. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here that isn't... Uh, normally available. I want that. Yeah, those are new. <laughs> I want that too. A lot of uh, a lot of new prototype stuff, so um, dual dual durometer. Here. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, hard hickory, mm -hmm. made in Italy. Yeah, I want it because I don't even care about this. I want this. Because I had to go buy some hammers from, you know, Home mm -hmm. Depot and they don't, they don't, I don't have inserts. Yeah, so then you have a lower drawer. All right, so that's, now all of these 9, 10, 11, they're all the same height, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just dependent on... Yeah, like, depending upon the width and in this one, so you've got twins. Mm -hmm. So like the S10 has a twin, which is the S11, which is wider. Yeah. The S9 has a twin, which is the S12, which is wider. Yeah. And now the S12 and the S9 have another, you know, I think it's triplet, I guess, whatever. It's now deeper and wider. Mm. So it fits actually in the XD foam drawers in a smaller compact toolbox. So you don't have to get the big 60 inch rolling S14 or S15. Mm. You have something that's 40 inches wide uh, and it's you know, whatever it is, 32, 33 inches deep. So this can compact the same amount of tools in it. These are medium? Yeah, this is a medium drawer. Correct. I love these. Everybody loves the ratcheting wrench. Yeah, and I love the matte finish. No, just... I want this and this. Are these thinner for a reason, or is there a reason for that? That's just mm -hmm. the style. Yep. You can get this. Get you can get this wrench in more places than any of our competitors. Yeah, that's true. So most of our competitors are around that that width. Mm -hmm. uh, so hence the reason these are so small is the. Yeah, so I guess it's smart to have tight spots. Both. Yeah, yeah. Because I have found that uh, getting it on, you know, getting it in in between yep. a gap, this a lot of times won't fit. Yeah, these are cool. Let's go look at the uh, the ten. That's nine, and then we have uh, actually a Corvette box here. Yeah, I guess maybe I'll start selling <laughs> these when uh, I'm gonna buy a Corvette here soon. Oh, are you now? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to go. It could either make me uh, um, have everybody who hates Corvettes hate you know hate me or or love me or one or the other. But I'm going to that's my next car. I'm going to buy a Corvette just to experience it. So. That's a heck of a gamble. Yeah. Uh, so Corvette box actually put together along with uh, GM as well as Corvette Racing. So we are uh, technical partners with the Corvette Racing Team, have been for two years now. Mm -hmm. And then we've got another uh, three years we're actually technical partners with them. So the set of tools is actually designed inside of this around um, any and all GM vehicles. So obviously focused towards the Corvette, just by the branding. Mm -hmm. uh, but the tool set itself inside, you can actually work on any GM vehicle. So any technician or enthusiast as well uh, in the box. So I'm gonna pop the wheels on it there, pop the locks. Actually some, uh, Bit of branding there on the rear side of it as well. Oh yeah, good old America there. Yeah, the good old Corvette Racing Jake. Good old America. I'm more interested in how does it can roll around. You know, I've been fighting it. Yesterday I was doing the exhaust in my 1M, freaking tools all over the floor. I just, I like my cabinets to be against the wall, but I mm -hmm. probably need a rolling, yeah. rolling tool cart of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, those casters are great. Yeah, so I saw you just pull up on this. So if you ever want to protect your shoes, just hit the red right button. Oh. Just like that. Smart. That's smart. So you can actually wear, so wear shoes like shoes. this. You yeah. can wear fancy shoes and wear I threw all mine away. I quit. I didn't think I'd like this. Baby. Yeah. It's still yeah. a prototype, so all the tools. Yeah. Alright, so... This is the companion to the S9 we just looked at. Yeah, so you've got S12, uh, which is the 
wider S9, and then you've got the S12 XD, which is wider and deeper. Uh, so you can if there's an XD, that's what I want. Yeah. So just like we've been talking about aviation sets, obviously not the customers we're talking to here, but um, the aviation sets themselves, and everything that we're doing, we're trying to make sure to uh, capture a customer from the beginner, a basic guy who's going to just be doing some basic DIY stuff or basic aviation work, mm -hmm. all the way up to the intermediate set we just looked at as well, and to the advanced set. So obviously mm -hmm. we've got some prototype stuff here, so it's missing currently mm -hmm. uh, from this set. But this would be the advanced guy uh, within the aviation industry, you know, 10 years, 20 years in the industry, this is the set uh, that you would actually use. This is going to be a $15,000-ish No, uh, actually this box uh, with a set of tools uh, will list at around $8,500, I believe, oh, sure. is what it is. Yeah, see, I, I just love these. They're just underrated, man. Yep. I love it. I didn't think I'd love the tools as much. I didn't even care about the tools. Mm -hmm. I bought it for the inserts. Mm -hmm. Turns out the tools are great, too. And that they finish. are. Yeah, that, I hadn't seen the, uh, the bigger XD drawer, which is awesome. Yeah, so you can see like some changes like with our torque wrench now. We've got a new torque wrench. Mm -hmm. you, did you know this yet? Uh, the double-sided? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what this one is. So all powder coated finish uh, on the... Um, on the shaft here as well, mm -hmm. and then directional. Um, this one for which direction? This yeah. isn't the double sided, yeah, right? Uh, but we have a double sided one as well, so mm -hmm. that would go with that. Yeah, I'm going to be getting the uh, three quarter for Porsche stuff. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So the bigger cabinet. I keep wanting to say 34. The 890. But the 890 is XD depth. Correct. XD so depth and XD width. So do you expect to have more, because XD has the least amount of drawer options, Correct. Or insert options. Do you mm -hmm. expect to see more variants of that? Because mm -hmm. I don't think I can build a complete set with XD drawers, I don't think. I think I'm missing a bunch of tools. No, you can't. You have to set, You have to get some of the medium sized foams. It's like, mm -hmm. like I said earlier, you can put two mediums beside each other. And okay. it's still the same size. Okay. So what we've done is not only just, we have some of those which would be XD sets, mm -hmm. but the direction of the tools are changed in the medium size foams mm -hmm. to make sure that you're still looking at it this way instead of getting some of the medium foams and your tools are facing this way. Mm -hmm. So we have some of those multi-directional now, I guess you could say. So that's what I need. I need a darn, like, what's the, compl I want every tool. Yep. I don't want to miss any of them, not mm -hmm. one of them. How do we do that? It'd be the 958 piece set, which is an XD set, which only fits in the S14 or 15. Uh, and it would be that set along with a couple of other bolts. And that would be, that would be everything. Yeah, I like everything. All right, so that's S12, yeah, so XD, S12, and S12, XD. S9, S12, S12, XD, all the same finish, comes in this color. It comes in this color only, correct. Yeah. Which is the one that these are the ones that come in different colors? Uh, S11 and S10 ah. have four different configurations of colors. So here's the basic S8. That's correct. Oh, it is different than what, you know, like a typical, so it is rounded. It's completely different. Than like a Craftsman box mm -hmm. or a Cobalt or something. No, that's, that's, the that's, original, the, that's the original Sonic box. The only reason that box still exists in our lineup is it's the original. <laughs> you can't just, you just can't get rid of the original. But there's a different, uh, different, yeah, completely different structure. Yeah, yeah different completely different structure. Different fit to finish. Well, it's completely different structure. This doesn't have so the drawer blocking components here. So this one has drawer blocking. Keep on. There it is. So this one has a drawer blocking component, which is fitted in all the boxes. So I can open one drawer, mm -hmm. but I can't open another. So it's yeah. not going to tip over. Yeah. So this one has a similar type setup, uh, but it's all by latches here. Mm -hmm. And it's actually drawer that way. So, like I said, this is this is the original um, toolbox entry level with the entire Sonic Home system built into it. Mm -hmm. This was the original box, and this is obviously the S9 being the next iteration of the box uh, and our most popular selling box in the world. Okay, so S1011 you can get in blue, red, black, and a light gray. Okay. Yeah, so it's much lighter. It's much lighter than this color. It's actually more that color than yours is. These are straight. These are just have a slight curve. Yep. 
Yeah. So another little unique piece that people have asked about, why is this like this? Strength. Yeah, structural rigidity. Structural rigidity. Mm -hmm. So here we are, we've got the same thing, which is a drawer bent out of one piece of steel, mm -hmm. and we're able to gain rigidity in using a thinner steel by engineering. Mm -hmm. Different type of top. Yep, different top, so it's a composite top on it. So rather than side bumpers, you just have a bigger, yep. bigger top. Correct. Different handle. I think I like the S9 better. And on the back side of the S10 and S11, we also have storage. Oh. So if you ever needed to put any aerosols or fluids. Hmm. Yeah, versus uh, these have the pegboard or the whatever you call that stuff, the keyhole. What's on the back of this? Flat back. I would have never noticed that. And then that's what Yeah, I definitely like the. If you're looking for my opinion. I like that better. People are looking. Well, for we are it. we are all partial to yep. the S12XD now. Yeah. It's a substantial box and a small package. And the drawers feel better. Yeah. Like they it's, feel. It's completely different. Yeah. Maybe I just like this because this is MSS, basically. Yeah. The, the correct. Yeah. The drawer design and such. Yeah. Unless you want some funky color. Yeah. And then we have 13, 13. 13, 14, and then there's a 15. Yeah, and then there's a 15. So these are based on those, just why? Correct. So you've got drawer bank here. Mm -hmm. You've got drawer bank here. Goes in the front. Uh, this would be, we would have two different things. You can put a paper towel holder here. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, kind of like the side of the bins there, can holders. You got all kinds of little wow. options here. Okay. But this one comes with a, what we would call a little garbage bin. It goes right here and then a paper towel holder that would go here. Mm. Um, and then you have the same design on the back side here as on the front. But you also have some shelves back here. Oh, uh, yeah. So that box, actually, based on its height as well, is a great box to actually set in the middle of a workspace and use it as a use it as a you know we have some people say you know what i just want to put that in my kitchen as my eye on mm -hmm. or cat or the casters the same. casters are different for this box they're beefed up in this box because of weight yeah same thing here so obviously in the xd it's a smaller package but when you load it up with tools it gets oh, yeah. heavy fast. This one is already just heavy on its own. Yeah. This box on its own weighs 500 plus pounds. I think I'd rather have two of these. We've actually had we've actually had customers buy two of those in exchange of doing one of these. Yeah. Because a 958, they bought a 958 kit with some extra drawers. And it won't fit in that box. So it was okay. Well, just send me two S12 XDs, put them in that, and I'm good. Or I think you're right. MSS Plus instead of that. Mm -hmm. Just non rolling. Correct. Because I mean, the chance of you rolling that sucker around anyway. Uh, and, well, if not, if you're a technician and you need to change, you know, you'll, you might change locations. Yeah. But yeah, and the difference in this and the S15 is the S15s about this deep. Mm -hmm. About this deep here. Yeah. And then the drawer bank on that side is wider as well. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's a stainless top instead of a wood top. That's just, it's funny you're gravitating towards that one. It just, it is. Yeah. So this one's got every, tools every, in it. Every one that has seen that box is gravitating towards that box. Tools in it, it's just freaking smooth, man. I guess they're all pretty smooth. Yep. Oh, look at that. I can just roll that sucker wherever the heck I want. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Give me an Express Garage logo on there somewhere. So we'll also have the option to do custom colors. Here's an example in red. Yeah. I want blue. Oh wait, no. Blue is too shout, too flashy for me. Yeah, that's sick. That's a light gray finish. Um, unique piece about this is it is a solid steel frame 
uh, around it here. So it's very different from what we're going to find in any type of U.S. supply suitcase you find. Uh, so it's solid steel frame, struts, everything, same lifetime warranty as the rest of the stuff that we have. Uh, and then we have it, like I said, with a with wheels and a handle or without. Yeah, I want one of those too. I don't have a lot of stuff. Here's an example in here. So here's the here's the regular side open. So the the double wide has a double door, but the what is this? This is a 720. 720. So the 720 comes with a single door, 720 millimeters wide, uh, and then this is the six drawer version, which we didn't see out there. So you have three three um, larger drawers, a really large drawer, two medium drawers, and two smaller drawers. And then you have the option to do this top. And here's what these look like. So let me make sure I get in here and show you what we're dealing with here, what this looks like. Yeah. So this is the this is the gray, gray color, which will be the standard color. Black will be as months down the road. So depending on when you're watching this video on when they're available. But the shelves, all this comes with the Shelf covers, drawers come with the inserts as well. And then these are much deeper. So that's one thing you need to consider when you're considering MSS Plus versus MSS. I mean, the MSS is 19, 19 inches, 19.7 inches deep, or these are 26 inches deep. So that's a, a consideration you need to make. But I mean, just the, the fit and finish of this stuff is insane. I want to give away my MSS and get this in my garage as soon as possible. And then I want to put some darn reels, some Cox reels in inside of one of those things. They have a single wide, a double wide, and then a double tall version of this thing. It's all different versions. And then this is the standard, and they also have a 38 inch wide version of the closets as well. And then I gotta have one of these. Those bigger cabinets. It's like 57 inches wide. So here's something I'm working on, considering carrying different versions of these. These things are so cool. You have to have these for travel and use when needed. So to have a there's there's various versions of these, so I'm gonna figure out which one makes which one makes sense, which ones don't. And then we have this, which I'm really excited about, we're talking about doing, which would be a, a bag. So imagine this, imagine a track spec bag for, you know, what a torque wrench and uh, a couple of um, protective uh, sockets and some other tools you would need if you're going to the track. Or I was also thinking about doing a bag for like, a, we'll call it going over to your buddy's house bag. You know that buddy that like doesn't have any tools and so you end up loading a bunch of tools into your into some floppy bag. So we have this, do something like this would be sweet, I think. We'd have this as an option. And then MSS Plus, just giving you some of the close-ups on the detail. So this is a uh, 720 millimeter version of the cabinet, which has insane amounts of storage. And then they make one bigger than this. They make an 850 millimeter, I think. So one that's even wider. And then here's an example, which we didn't show you before, but here's an example of a six drawer. So you have a really big drawer, really deep or tall drawer, and then two mediums, and then uh, three, is that three? Yeah, three uppers, pretty sweet. And then you have the recycling bin, which is cool. For us detail guys, you'd almost rather have one for trash, one for your pads and microfiber towels that you can then take home. You know, in that bin, at least that's how I do it. And you can just push this and slide your towels in place, which is cool. You know, this is an option to do to do this type of counter. Of course, we would probably, most people do stainless or wood as an option. It gives you an idea what the, uh, what the pipes look like that hold these together. And then the short version of the uppers. And then this is the, uh, this is the gray finish. It's hard to explain. I hope you can see it on camera, but it's like uh, it's just a really, really dark gray, 
with almost a almost like a greenish tint to the gray. It's really cool. And then black will come later on. We can get you black. It just might take a while. And as I showed you earlier, you can get pretty much any custom color you want. But that will take a really long while. Right, so let's do one last little, little wrap up here. Show you, show you what our options are. Eight drawer, six drawer. This is our what our thing looks for our um, hose reels. Oil catch. If you had a fluid fluid pump of some sort, and then they have two different versions of the closet. So they have the the narrow storage, and then they also have a wider one, a 38 inch or a double version of this. Look at that sink, it's sick, it's so cool. Yeah, I want these, I want these badly. So the sink comes with all pre-cutouts. There's a hole in the center there you can see, so you don't have to cut your cabinet. And the sink is an option. So check that out. And the narrower, <laughs> narrow cabinet that would be super useful for certain things. Like I could see myself putting polishes in there, store your oil in there and stuff. So awesome. And I want that cabinet. I want one of those big ones. How big is that thing? Uh, 15, 40 millimeters, 61 inches wide. Yeah, so that's a 61. I just want that one big drawer. And then you roll out. The sweetest, the coolest thing about the rollout is there's a, there's a, a, a catch or bump stops in the back. So you push it in and it stays flush with the, with the cabinet face. It's awesome. I really dig this size. And I said 850 millimeters earlier. The, the one that's bigger than this size is, uh, so that's a 700 millimeter. And that was a 61 inch, whatever that math is. And then this was a 890. So 890, 720. See, I'm getting it. Just take a little while. Yeah, that's cool. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. Foot to the floor.